Welcome back. More now with Michael Chertoff. He was the Secretary of Homeland Security during the last four years of the Bush administration. The question now, where should the suspect in the Christmas Day terror plot be prosecuted? Is a traditional criminal court appropriate? Take a listen. Well, I think it depends upon whether the authorities believe they've gotten all the information uh, that he has that's of value. Uh, we did Richard Reed in a, in a criminal court because we felt that we had obtained all the information we could get from him and therefore it was perfectly fine to go ahead with a criminal prosecution. If there's a belief that we need to get more information out of him and that interrogation needs to continue, then I think the authorities have to look at another option. But, you know, we, we frankly successfully did quite a number of criminal prosecutions for people arrested in the U.S. under the Bush administration. So I don't have a, an objection in principle uh, if we've gotten the information we need in this case. Give me your assessment on the current uh, Secretary of Homeland Security, Janet Napolitano. How do you think she's handling the crisis? You know, I think it's a, it's a baptism by fire. I have a lot of uh, uh, sympathy and understanding for what it's like the first time one of these emergencies hit. And I think like everybody else who's been in the job, and there have only been two other secretaries, um, you learn through the experiences that you have. I think she's uh, dedicated. She's recovered from maybe an initial misstep. I know she's very determined uh, to work on fixing the problems that have uh, been discovered here. And I know that she's uh, leading a department where every one of the 220,000 people uh, view protecting the country as, as mission number one. Do you think she's the right person to lead the department right now? Look, I, I've, I've known Secretary Napolitano for a long time. I think she's got a terrific skill set. Uh, nothing quite prepares you to be Secretary of Homeland Security. There's no other job that meets that description. But I think her background as a prosecutor and as a governor uh, will stand her in very good stead. And I know her heart is in the right place. Former Vice President Cheney, who you worked very closely with, um, released a very harsh statement today saying that President Obama <clears throat> is, quote, trying to pretend we are not at war. Do you think that kind of rhetoric is useful, is productive right now? You know, I, I didn't see what the vice president said, and I, I'm loath to speak for other people or comment on other people characterizing <laughs> what yet other people believe. I can just tell you what I think. I think we are at war. I think that uh, the president needs to be unambiguous in making it clear that we have an enemy, uh, w which is an Islamist extremist conspiracy, uh, that this enemy has to be dealt with in a military way as well as using other tools, and that we are going to be focused as, jo as job number one on protecting the country. And that means, by the way, supporting our CIA agents and everybody else who does dangerous work. And we can't afford to muddle that message. As somebody who knows better than almost anybody how, how the Bush administration handled terror threats, is there any difference in your eyes between how the Obama administration handled this Christmas terror attempt and how it would have been handled a year ago? You know, I can't, first of all, I, I obviously don't have visibility <clears throat> into everything the current administration has done. And I'm, as one who's been in the, in the cockpit, so to speak, I understand how difficult it is making real-time decisions. I will tell you what we did uh, when we were in office. Uh, there was a great deal of focus on any potential threat uh, or even hint of a threat that was collected anywhere in the intelligence community. The president made it personally clear to all of us, and we met on this at least once a week, that he wanted to make sure we didn't put our head down on the pillow until we had resolved or addressed with action uh, any th material threat to the well-being or lives of Americans. And so that was our marching order, and I think that that was infused all the way down uh, the intelligence community, all the way down uh, the Department of, of Homeland Security and Department of Justice. Uh, I know the people in this administration uh, are dedicated to, I know many of them and, and have worked with them previously, and I'm, I'm going to assume that they bring the same uh, passion to the job as we brought to the job when we were in office. Secretary Michael Chertoff joining us tonight. Appreciate it. My pleasure. When we come back, we're going to take a, a close look at a man that many are calling.